Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare this incredible panes con pollo. This is a shredded chicken sandwich inside of a rich and flavorful sauce and it's full of unique ingredients like pumpkin and sesame seeds. The sandwich is filled with crispy cucumber and fresh watercress. It's a sandwich that you will for sure never forget. Now let's get started. I'm gonna start off this recipe with the chicken. I'm adding four breasts to my pan. These are going to start cooking for a few minutes and they're gonna finish in the oven so keep that in mind for whichever pot you decide to use. I'm then gonna be adding the spices. This is three bay leaves going into the pot along with a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of dried thyme. Next I'm adding two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and a spoonful of mustard is then going to be added. Use a Dijon or even a mustard seed, whichever you have on hand. I'm going to be slightly spreading all of those delicious rich flavors around the chicken and I'm going to start to cook this chicken covered on a medium low heat while we move on to our next step. These are some fresh beets which are going to be one of the toppings for our sandwich. You want to wash and cut the ends off and add these to a pot with some water to boil. Once they're cooked that skin is going to peel right off so don't worry about peeling them right now. And they're going to take about 35 minutes until they're nice and soft so try to get them started first. Moving on to that sauce for the chicken, this is about a half a cup of rice that's going to be blended into our sauce but first I'm going to be soaking this rice with about a cup of water to soften it a bit. You want to then place it to the side to allow it to soak about 5 minutes while we get the rest of our veggies ready. These are the rest of the produce that's needed to prepare this sauce. We have here a red bell pepper, some white onion, I have a few small tomatillos and this is a leek right here. Some tomatoes, about 4 cloves of garlic, and some fresh cilantro. And one of the most important ingredients for this is the beer, you're going to need about 1 cup. Add all of this to your blender and it's going to be done in batches since everything won't fit inside. For those of you who are new to my channel, I post unique recipes like this one today. Be sure to subscribe and click that notifications bell so you won't miss out on them. Now once all of the veggies are in, you're going to season this sauce with a bit of some pepper, some complete seasoning, and I have two tablespoons of toasted sesame seed and ground up pumpkin seed. Add about two cups of that beer and this is going to add a very unique taste. All of the alcohol will be cooked out so don't worry about that part. I'm then adding all of that softened rice with the water and to make a little room, I'm going to pulse this a few times to fit in my last two ingredients. This is a dried chile guajillo and a pasilla. Be sure to wash them and take the seeds and stem off. Blend all of this together into a liquid. I know this seems like a ton of ingredients, but this panes con pollo is gonna be like a flavor explosion in your mouth. It is so worth it. All of this sauce is then going to be added to that partially cooked chicken, move it around a bit and add the rest of those blended up vegetables. Season this whole thing with 2 teaspoons of salt and about 2 teaspoons of chicken consomme. You're going to mix everything up well and this is going to get covered and popped into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 1 hour. While that's baking, slice all of the vegetables to assemble the sandwich. I'm going to be thinly slicing some fresh red onion along with some sliced tomatoes and some cucumbers. These are a few washed radishes with the ends removed and you want to thinly slice them too and this is going to add a really nice crunch to your sandwich. And lastly, the fresh watercress. It just wouldn't be a panes con pollo without it. The beets should be nice and soft by now so peel them and slice those too. Before we assemble these sandwiches, we're going to make delicious pepinesa spread. This consists of about one cup of mayonnaise and I'm going to add equal parts of some mustard, some ketchup and some dill relish. Mix it up well and add a little bit more ketchup, you want a nice and pink color. And now for the part that we have all been waiting for, it's time to assemble these panes con pollo. This is a nice soft bolillo roll. You can find this bread at any Latin supermarket freshly baked. 
I'm going to be slicing it open and spreading that pepinesa generously all over both sides. You're then going to take a piece of that rich and flavorful chicken on a separate plate and shred it up a bit. You could either do this as you go or shred up all the pieces, removing the bones and placing them back into your pot with all the sauce. All that chicken is going to be added to this sandwich, followed after with some sliced beets and all of those fresh and crisp veggies. And top the whole thing off with the finishing of some more of that sauce. Oh my goodness, look at that. This panes con pollo originates from El Salvador. It is an explosive sandwich, which makes the perfect meal for any holiday dinner. Have you guys ever tried this panes con pollo before? Leave a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes, all of them with a unique twist.